Hi everybody, this is Lee. I'm looking at an article written by Melody Forbes. She's a human resources uh, professional who lives in a red state, um, Phoenix, Arizona. She wrote an article um, discussing um, what people are noticing in the Trump administration. She was a Trump voter, a female Trump voter from a red state. Uh, she says that she voted for Donald Trump because she wanted to see change, and Trump was the change agent. Um, apparently, Hillary Clinton was the more of the same, um, nothing's going to change agent, but Donald Trump wanted to shake things up. Um, and so she says she wanted to focus on the economy, and that was her vote for Trump, the economy. Uh, but the one change that she did not want to see was access to health care at Planned Parenthood being blocked. And so this is the pushback, it looks like, against um, what the Republican uh, male-led Congress is attempting to do. Um, there's, you know, pushback that definitely there is a need for economic growth, jobs, infrastructure, things like that. But blocking access to female health care is something that most females don't want to see happen, and she is one. And so there has been this promise made that they would um, stop reimbursement for the health care uh, provided by Planned Parenthood. And so she's saying, like, one in five women have used Planned Parenthood for services uh, for health care. Um, at the time, she was newly divorced. She was unemployed and she was uninsured. And so she needed health care that she could actually afford, and that was at Planned Parenthood. And so she's saying that, you know, every every woman at one point in time in her life might need access to those services. And if they don't get those services, that they'll be at risk. Um, and so not only are they blocking these um, access to um, health care. Um, oh, okay. I'm looking at this wrong. Um, she's saying that it's not new that there has been promises made to block access to Planned Parenthood and health care. The difference what, with what was threatened in the past is that there's a possibility that President-elect Donald Trump, um, as a Republican, may sign the bill once he becomes president. But she's saying that that doesn't make sense, um, that people who use Planned Parenthood for essential health care use it for birth control, uh, contraceptives, cancer screening, STI, uh, sexually transmitted infections, testing and treatment well woman exams and more they would not have access to these services uh, if uh, funding the Planned Parenthood is blocked and so um, this is a concern um, a bill to defund Planned Parenthood does not necessarily cut money from the federal budget um, it just stops people with Medicaid from being able to go to Planned Parenthood for basic reproductive care. In fact, that um, at present, no federal dollars that the Planned Parenthood receives can be used to um, provide abortion, except for in rare cases of rape incest or when the life of the mother is in danger. So it's not the abortions that would be affected by these cuts. What would be affected by these cuts are the other services, um, the screenings, the health screenings, the basic uh, female exams, um, the Depo-Provera shots, the patches, uh, a form of birth control. These would all be um, defunded and affected. And so she's saying in this article that the majority of Americans actually support the work that Planned Parenthood does. Um, for women to make healthy and informed decisions um, and that Donald Trump said he would try to be a president for all Americans and that should include the 2.5 million people who go to Planned Parenthood every year.
most of which are women. And so she's saying, uh, Melody Forbes, that her vote for Donald Trump was not a vote against Planned Parenthood. She voted for Donald Trump based on the issues he campaigned on, creating jobs, making health care more affordable, making the country great again. Uh, she says that she voted for him because she trusted him on the economy. And so um, Donald Trump did speak of his views during the debates. Um, he did speak on abortion during the debates, and he indicated that he had problems with that. Um, and we are seeing his views manifest. Um, so far, I've not heard him defend um, women's rights to have access to health care services. Um, and reproduction uh, information, um, screenings, and things like that. He hasn't spoken in support of those. Um, so she says, Melody Forbes, that she's hoping that Donald Trump will see that defending Planned Parenthood is a type of campaign promise that he should not keep, um, that she did not vote for him, in order to send him to the White House to take away health care from people who are struggling to get by. Uh, she says that these are people like her when she was 25 and that she was grateful that Planned Parenthood was there when she needed them. And so um, she's saying that if Trump is going to be the president we elected to give us real solutions to our very real problems, he shouldn't start his presidency by blocking access to Planned Parenthood. And I do agree with Melody Forbes. We had some hard choices to make this election season. If not Donald Trump um, in the White House, uh, we would have had Hillary Clinton likely in the White House. And we, we would be engaged in a fight against Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and the Republican Congress against the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We had some very hard choices to make and people voted on the economy. Uh, they might have had um, at least some health care protection underneath Hillary Clinton. We wouldn't have been having this kind of um, fight um, with Hillary Clinton, but we, we would have had other kinds of fights with Hillary Clinton. Um, on trade deals, um, her criminal background, um, lots of um, kind of sinister goings on. We would have been concerned about her warmongering, um, her escalation of tension with um, Russia. So we had hard decisions to make, uh, meaning that we had to make choices and more people said, okay, we'll deal with Trump because Hillary Clinton is just and we can't deal with that. Now, some people say the same thing about Trump. Um, I'm thinking he can be reasoned with. And I think people are, and this is what this um, editorial from Melody Forbes is, and I tend to reason with Donald Trump that there are elements in the Republican Congress, the far right, who um, seem to think big government should stay out of their personal business but yet and still get into um, a lot of the personal business of women. And um, kind of a twisted sense of morality that's actually eliminating access to a lot of basic female health care by defending um, Planned Parenthood. Things that women need, like the yearly exams, the well woman exams, the very basic um, things that, you know, maintenance. <laughs> and so it's a reach too far, likely. It's causing more harm than good. Um, and that there will be lots of health reperc re repercussions as a result. Um, that it's kind of um, going about things pretty much the wrong way. And it might have a negative effect um, at the midterms to attack women of this nation by taking away their health care. So anyway, I'm going to post a link to this article, um, Melody Forbes' point of view, 
and we'll see if there are more women weighing in on this situation. Um, and hopefully as they weigh in, there'll be someone listening um, in the executive office, uh, maybe even Congress. Good luck.